Nasithi, a blessed place. Lasithi lies on the eastern end of Crete. It is embraced by three seas, the Cretan Sea from the north, the Libyan Sea from the south, and the Carpathian Sea from the east. On the west side, the Dikti mountain range stands tall, spreading its rich slopes all the way down to the plains of Mirabello and Ierapetra. It is 1,808 square kilometers wide, and it has 76,000 inhabitants. The morphology of the soil, the ever-changing and contrasting landscape, and the immeasurable natural beauties strike an impression at first glance. Mountains with rich vegetation, challenging canyons, forests with impressive caverns, and fertile plateaus paint a picture of untamed beauty. Surrounded by thick vegetation and the scent of nature, these are the picturesque villages of the Lasithi Prefecture. Water springs of stone chapels with arched roofs. Clean lime white streets are decorated by jasmines and snowdrops. The contrast between sea and land provide unparalleled scenery. The color blue blends harmoniously with the color of stone. With the various shades of natural green, the yellow and purple tones of the flowers accent the scent and color of each season. The history of Lasithi is alive with every step one takes. Unique archaeological findings, Byzantine churches, castles and chapels are what make Lasithi the ideal destination for those wishing to combine their vacation with explorations of nature and with historical quests. Wherever one's eye turns, he will find that important events took over the course of time. Proof lies in the ancient caves, such as Dicteon Andron, which was associated with the god Zeus, as well as the ancient cities of Zacros, Gurnia, Lato, Vridos, and the castles in Spinalonga, Sitia and Ierapetra carve the historical path of this place. The number of churches and chapels that are spread all around the prefecture tell us of the deep reverence of its people. The Orthodox religion has played an important role in the preservation of tradition during historical turbulence. The climate in Lasithi is sweet and smooth, typically Mediterranean, deprived of abrupt seasonal changes, thus offering the possibility of vacationing all year round. Organized hotel units, rooms for rent, top of the line marinas, shops, restaurants, 
traditional taverns, infrastructure of the highest quality, and the ongoing improvements of the highways that offer comfort and safety in transportation have vastly contributed to the tourist growth of the prefecture, make La Sithi an area of economical significance to the country. Every year, a large number of foreign and Greek visitors arrive in La Sithi to chase the sun, to swim in the clear blue waters, to experience the beautiful nature, to taste the famous local cuisine, and to surrender to the hospitality of its people. Today, the locals assemble the goods of life from farming and cattle raising. The climate enhances the prefecture's fine production. Lysithian goods are unique in taste and quality. Yerapetra exports vegetables both to Greece and abroad. The vast olive tree plantations that can be found all around the prefecture produce olive oil of exquisite taste and fine quality, which has earned international distinctions. In Sitia, the organic vineyards produce delicable raisin and superior wine. Modern winemaking units export a variety of delicately favored wines to many places around the world. The fertile plains of Lasithi also produce fine cheese products, honey and tasty potatoes. The sea remains rich in fish since La Sithi imposes strict regulations regarding water pollution. The prefecture's capital is Ayus Nikolaos and it looks upon the small island of Ayi Pandes. It is a municipal center with intense natural features and a unique climate. It is rated amongst the most beautiful places in the Mediterranean. It has quickly developed into a popular tourist resort due to its high quality infrastructure. <laughs> <laughs> 